Well, so great to see you on this Friday as we get ready to roll into the weekend. And what a January we've had so far. Let's put things in perspective. How many days this month, in fact, dating back into late December, have we been at or above average with our temperature? How about this? 23 straight days. And our January temperature itself is now 10 and a half degrees above average. And it is now the third warmest January, at least start to January, on record. In fact, you'd have to go back to 1932 to find a January that has started warmer than what we are experiencing right now. But we are starting to see things change, and with that could come the potential of some snow. Now, our snowfall, probably not much of a surprise with how warm it's been. Most of what we've had has been falling in the form of rainfall. Our winter snowfall has only had 1.6 inches of snow, and I am talking the entire winter season. Typically, at this point, we would have had about half of our winter snowfall of over 16 inches, and the least snowfall uh, that we have seen at least through mid-January. It's actually back in 1919, one inch of snowfall. So we're very close and in the running to the least snowiest start to the winter season as well. Let's get you set for the rest of your Friday. We're gonna have a lot of cloud cover. Temperatures gonna be steady right there around the mid 30s, mid to upper 30s for most areas. Not gonna budge much beyond that with the cooler breeze. You're gonna feel that wind west northwest winds up to about 15 to 20 miles per hour. Winds lighten up a little bit tonight. We head back closer to 30 degrees for the overnight low for our Saturday morning. We'll be cooler start to the day. One thing you may notice if we can get some sunshine, the sunset time is gone later and later. 534 now is the sunset time. Your sunrise time now four minutes before uh, 8 a.m. And by January 31st, so we're looking toward the end of the month. Our sunsets could be out there at 548. Sunrise time will be at 747. So we continue to see the increase in the amount of daylight that we see over the course of January. That's a trend that's going to continue to accelerate late January and into February. Rest of your Friday does feature the chance of a couple snow showers. It at least reminds us we are in the winter season. Nothing that's expected to accumulate in those snow showers. The flurry is going to taper off near or just after midnight. A, perhaps a little touch of clearing tonight. Otherwise, mostly cloudy skies into Saturday morning. Dry, cool, chilly breeze. I don't expect we're going to get much sunshine for Saturday. A peak or two in between some of the thicker clouds. Overall, it's going to be a gloomy, cloudy, quiet day. But look forward to this. The return to snow that's going to be coming into the area, and we expect that will be arriving as we get into Sunday. So let's time it out. Sunday morning, here you go. You're going to wake up. If you're thinking Sunday morning church services, headed out to breakfast, light snow that's going to begin Sunday morning near or just before daybreak. So by 7 a.m., snow is going to be filling up the area. Light, steady snow much of the morning will continue even into the afternoon. This is not going to be a major storm system but it will bring us some snow accumulations through Sunday afternoon. So if you're wondering how much so you can set your weekend plans enough to certainly bring uh, perhaps a light accumulation of around one inch of accumulation for most areas. There is going to be a spot that could get close to two inches of total accumulation. That is going to be south and east of the Toledo Metro and our hour by hour forecast shown an inch and a half to two inches for locations like upper Sandusky, Tiffin, Norwalk, perhaps up towards Sandusky where the slightly steadier snowfall is going to linger. You may be thinking, all right, well, is there anything really uh, big beyond that? Well, there in fact is our alert day that's been issued. This is going to be for Wednesday of next week, and it's for the potential of what could be more widespread accumulating snow and the pattern recognition with this system does bring a very familiar track to some of our more notorious snowmakers for the middle of winter. So I'm talking Wednesday morning. Here we are mid morning. That snow is really beginning to pick up and again, lots still to decide on where the track of this system ends up. So this is the latest model projection. Snow will continue through midday and into the afternoon. And if this area of low pressure comes up the Ohio River Valley across southern Ohio, and that's a prime position to put us in that window of accumulating snow. Far too early to talk about how much snow. We're just telling you the potential is out there with how this storm system is shaping up. As that low pressure crosses into central and eastern Ohio, it wraps in that colder air, keeps us cold enough that it may be perhaps more in the form of all snow as we go into the middle of next week. For today, it's snow flurries, nothing that's going to accumulate. Mainly cloudy skies, cooler breeze, 38 degrees will be even at that point much of the afternoon and evening. Saturday, looking at a dry day, quiet conditions, mid 30s. Sunday, we do get that light snow. Remember, you're going to wake up to it Sunday morning. It will be lightly snowing, and that snow will accumulate for most around an inch in the Toledo Metro. Some areas east of I-75 could get up to two inches on Sunday. 
perhaps just enough to break out that snow shovel to clear the sidewalks and the driveway. Monday and Tuesday, pretty typical January days, mid to upper 30s, and there it is, your alert day Wednesday. And that's for the chance that we get accumulating snow is becoming a little bit more likely with some of the latest data. But again, we're still several days out from that actually occurring, and we'll get a better handle on that as we go through the weekend and into early next week. One thing that is certain though, beyond our alert day Wednesday, it does turn colder. We have scattered snow showers Thursday, Friday and Saturday. Highs may not even reach 30 degrees. We will be colder in that 10 day outlook and our alert day is going to feature that next Wednesday. The return to wintry weather snow accumulation, at least at this point, is going to be possible and we're highly certain that beyond that we're going to be looking at colder weather that is going to be arriving as we go into the end of January and perhaps into early February. Thanks so much for checking in today. This is W2L 11 Chief Meteorologist Chris Vickers wishing you a great weekend.